Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside and Tara. I hope everyone is well. Um, I'm not going to tell the whole story of why I was not posting content for a week. Again, I did tell the whole story for the, the uh, weekend top and bottom of the deck that I put up yesterday. Long story short, my son and I were in isolation in his bedroom for a couple of days with sore throats and headaches and body aches and just probably the worst sickness that we've ever both had at the same time. And we were both a couple of whiny little buttheads <laughs> and just miserable, but we're both doing phenomenally better now and test results all came back negative and I'm trying to dance around what my week went through, but we're here. We're throwing down cards. I'm playing catch up. I'm hoping to get everything caught up by Monday or Tuesday, hoping trying like heck. Okay. Um, it is what it is, guys. I'm sorry. I try. Anyway. Okay. We're throwing down cards for somebody who we throwing down cards for. Leo, you're up. Okay. This reading will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with your sun sign, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with a message. Give you the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your June and mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it does not resonate with your sun sign, check your moon, rising, or Venus sign readings. If you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. I ask for messages for February. That doesn't mean that's what the universe is going to give me. All things can and maybe vice versa might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. Cross watchers are always welcome here. Everybody's always welcome here. I enjoy it when people stop by. As long as you stop and by, thanks. I appreciate you. Hit the like button if you like what you see. If you want to see more. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to know when I post because it, especially lately I've had a lot of health problems. Everything's been irregular. I'm going to be fine. This is going to be fire sign tarot's year. Okay. It's going to be our year. We're getting it back on track. Anywho, two reminders before I give you the invocation for the cards and start throwing them down. One, if it is not your story, not your message, not your reading, has nothing to do with you, and you're 100% sure of that, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It's okay. It's not always going to be your message. There's a lot of Leos in the world. Okay? For it to resonate with every Leo on the planet, I, I don't know if I could pull that kind of energy out of the universe. That would be really cool if I could, but I, I, I just it, it's just not possible. It's really not possible. Two, never make any life-altering decisions based on a tarot reading. This is for entertainment purposes. It really is. It's entertainment. I, I, I just think it's really cool how it really spookily resonates sometimes. Anyway, Leo. Heavenly Father, Mother of the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for February 2021. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Spirit. I appreciate you. Okay. Two more shuffles, Leo. We're going to throw them down for you. And I think this is going to be the last reading I do tonight because my voice is going to get out and I... I I got to do 10 hours tomorrow at my bread and butter job, and I got to do 10 hours Monday at my bread and butter job, so, and 95% of my bread and butter job is talking, so <laughs> I got to be able to talk. Why are you here, Leo? Two of Pentacles reversed. Riding out a storm. Some of you may be unsuccessfully riding out a storm, or it feels that way. You know, sometimes building solid foundations can be difficult. And it's not always easy. It's not meant to be. If everything was always easy, life would not be nearly as fun as it is. At least that's just my perspective. But I'm a Sagittarius. I have a different perspective. I'm in everything. 
Okay. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with, Leo? Seven of Wands. In the reverse, maybe they're a little bit out of control. Maybe they get some inner demons that they're battling. Maybe you're the one with inner demons. I don't know. I'm just throwing down cards. What do you think of the person you're dealing with? Seven of Pentacles. You possibly think that they aren't so patient sometimes. They don't like to wait, do they? Hmm. You want from them the world. Hmm. They throw a clarifier on that. You could want the world from them. You could want to give them the world. It's it's a card that talks about old cycles ending, new cycles beginning. Maybe you want an old cycle to end and a new cycle to begin. This is why we clarify, friends. How do they feel about you, Four of Pentacles in the reverse? Releasing and letting go. Maybe they feel like you're a little spend happy. That's not necessarily what it means, but just something that popped into my head. If it's setting off alarms, okay. If it's not, leave it alone. What do they think of you? Double reversed. Releasing from a binding connection, potentially toxic. Potentially, doesn't necessarily have to be. What do they want from you? Of you, for you, from you. Five of Swords reversed. That's the Shadows card. That's a behind closed doors card. It can also indicate things just kind of being scattered all over the place and nobody won the fight. Or it's hard to sort out who the winner or the loser is. We have to clarify because that's super weird. Was the obstacle three of wands? Someone waiting for a ship, waiting, waiting, not waiting long enough, waiting too long. I mean, somebody is impatient in this connection. Someone might be pulling away because of impatience. Huh. What's the possible resolution? Hanged man, accepting things as they are, accepting the fate of the situation. Seeing things from the other person's perspective. Cutting yourself out of the emotional gallows. Okay, super strange. We'll clarify everything. I'm going to put the outcome card down. We're not going to look at that until the end. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for Leo, please? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, February 2021.
Hi, Hanged Man. Just kind of flew out. Hmm. Why the hanged man? I love it when it gives an instant answer. Six pentacles reversed. It's extremely difficult. And this is me being insightful. Just go with it. It's the coffee, really. It's extremely difficult to build a solid foundation of anything if you're not building it together. If you're not putting it in equal effort. Six of Pentacles reversed is it's not equal effort. It's not equal give and take. <sighs> If someone's putting more bricks on their side of the foundation than the other person, things are not going to be even. Things are not going to be level. It's always going to be teeter-tottery. It's always going to be unsteady. Because somebody's putting more effort than the other one. That's not stability. I think someone... Maybe accepting the fact that it's never going to be equal. I don't know if it's you or the person you're dealing with, Leo. Someone may be hung up. On the stability of a connection. Because they're always putting more in than the other person. Could be you, could be them. I don't know. I'm just reading cards. Why is the Seven of Wands reversed here? Hi. The moon. The moon can indicate dishonesty. Things being left in the shadows. Things being left in the dark. Smoke and mirrors. The unknown. Things being left out. Do you feel like things are out of control because somebody is leaving things out? Somebody's not being 100% honest? Huh. Okay. Why the moon? Knight of Cups reversed. Super strange. I'm hearing somebody doesn't say it enough. They don't speak the words. It's not that they're not feeling it. It's that they don't say the words enough. Those three little, those three little I love you words. And yet, even not, not even necessarily that. Someone may not feel endeared enough. Like there's a cutoff in the communication or the actions. One of the two. Somebody's not hearing it enough. Things are out of control. Because somebody's not hearing it enough. Why is the Seven of Pentacles reversed here? Hi, the world. Somebody's growing impatient with something coming to an end. Cycles ending. Can I get one on the world, please? Why the world on top of the Seven of Pentacles reversed? Seven of Cups reversed. It's 
Card of Temptations. It could also be a card of poor decision making. Someone always picking the wrong path. I'm leaving that alone. Someone's growing impatient. <laughs> Why is the world here for what Leo wants of for from the other person? The lovers. Hmm. That's an iffy card. It can indicate a choice between two people, for starters. The lovers is about being in that moment. It's about two soulmates coming together for whatever they're going to come together for. Because sometimes soulmates come into your life solely for the purpose of leaving. They come in, they teach you the lesson they need to teach you. You do the dance that you're supposed to. You have the experience in this life and then they bail. And that's what's supposed to happen. One on the lovers, please. Ace of Swords reversed. Why? The Ace of Swords reversed. Whoa. Two of Wands reversed. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's unable to let go. A cycle has not come to an end because somebody wasn't able to let go. Somebody may be hung up on an old soul connection. I don't know if it's you or them, Leo. But I think you want them to put effort into the connection that they're in and let go of one that they're not in anymore. Very interesting, huh? Very interesting. Maybe you're losing patience with them. I don't know. Maybe they're the one continually taking wrong paths. I don't know. I, I'm not in your situation. I'm not in your shoes. I'm just throwing down cards. Why is the Four of Pentacles reversed here? For how the other person feels about Leo. The Chariots and the Empress. This is freaking beautiful. <laughs> I like this, and here's why. It's about forward movement. It's about growth. It's about potential. It's about keeping the chariot moving. But the chariot with the four of pentacles talks about releasing and putting distance. And the Empress with the Four of Pentacles talks about releasing old stuff so things can grow. I think the person you're dealing with wants some old stuff released and some old stuff let go so things can grow and the chariot can move putting some distance in there. Oh, it gets thick the more cards you lay down. You know what I'm saying? Devil reversed. Why is the devil reversed here? Hi. Hi, high priest reversed. Hi, devil reversed. Shadow side reversed. Devil reversed. Same card. What do they think?
I'm hearing there's too much. There's too much. There's a lot of toxic energy in this connection. Somebody has a lot of things that they need to separate themselves from. Habits. I mean, and these these aren't just the weird, trivial habits. These are the toxic ones. These gambling, alcoholism, drugs, food, sex, all all the anything that makes you feel super good. Probably something you shouldn't do a whole lot of. If it's if it's life consuming, it's 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 toxic. Like if you can't go a day without it, it's it's potentially toxic, and this can be on both sides. I'm not here to point fingers. I'm just here to read cards. Somebody has some toxic crap going on, and somebody in this connection is saying, "I can't, I can't do this as long as this is here." Okay, that that's a fair statement. That's just what I'm getting out of this. I would love to be able to do this. I would love to be able to to drive this chariot wherever we want to go. I love. I would love to be able for this to grow and expand and become something wonderful and great. But there's this toxic crap here, and I just can't. The feeling is there. If this could all be released, this all could be let go. It could happen. But as long as it's there, it can't. Oof. Can I get one more on that? How you feel and what you think aren't always the same thing. Four cups reversed. I can't take your cup as long as it's full of toxic crap. Leo, I'm not pointing fingers. All things can be vice versa. I don't know who's got the cup of toxic crap. I don't know. It could be them. It could be you. I don't know. I don't know. Why is the Five of Swords reversed here? For what the other person wants. A four from Leo. Why the Five of Swords reversed? Five of Cups upright. Eight of Cups reversed. Ten of Cups reversed, Four of Wands. There's a lot of upside down cups there. Okay. Here's where we're at. Here's where I'm at with this. Okay. Sometimes we do toxic crap to make us feel good because we feel bad. Because it's the only thing that makes us feel good. That's where things like addiction come into play. And sometimes, it, oh gosh, wow. I'm hearing that the other person, the person on the other side of this, Leo, somebody needs to find a way to process their grief. For some of you, it could be grief. 
or whatever is going on, whatever's not filling your cups, somebody needs to find another way to process it. So that door for wonder celebration can open. But until somebody finds a way to process those emotions and deal with them, that is not a way, that is not dumping cups, that door can't be opened and there can't be celebration, there can't be harmony, there can't be stability. Ultimately, they want stability and they want the pieces to be picked up, but somebody's got to process emotions, somebody's got to process grief. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. I'm getting two different stories here. Why is the Three of Wands here? Nine of Wands reversed, okay. One more. Temperance. Why temperance? Justice. Okay. Somebody throw in the towel. Why the nine of wands? Oh, emperor. Hi. Okay. Keeping peace. I, I think somebody didn't wait long enough.
Somebody didn't wait long enough. Somebody threw in the towel and just tried to regain peace and tranquility and just wanted everybody to get along. And tried to be extremely patient. Why justice? Ace of Cups reversed. And justice came in because someone's cup got spilled. Because that happens. That happens when somebody doesn't wait long enough. When someone grows impatient. We already went over somebody grew very impatient in this connection. And the emperor waits for no one. It's his way or the highway. Wow. Leo, I don't know who you're dealing with, but... I think they need to take a look in the mirror. Why the hanged man for the possible resolution? Page of Pentacles. This is what I have. Take it or leave it. This is me. This is who I am. One more. Seven of Wands upright. Seven of Wands reversed. Get a hold and get a handle on it. Start working together toward prosperity. Accept what was for what was and move forward toward what can be. One more. Let go of your past and get a handle on your future. Three of Swords. Process whatever pain you need to process. Don't cause any more. Well, they're separate or together. What's the conclusion? Emperor reversed. Why the Emperor reversed? Ace of Pentacles. I don't know who the Emperor is in this situation, and Leo, if it's you or the Cross Watcher, but somebody needs to come to the understanding that the best things in life happen slowly. And the beginning of the biggest beautiful towers start with a single brick. But if you want a foundation, you gotta do it together. And I don't know who that's for. It takes two. One person can't build a tower. Because of one person can build a tower, mm -hmm. but if you want to steady tower, you got to do it together and you got to do it at the same pace and you got to be on the same page and you have to want the same thing. 
Here's your advice. The High Priestess in the Reverse and the Eight of Cups. Somebody needs to put their ego in check or the other person involved is going to leave the Eight Cups behind or pack up their Eight Cups and go. However, and search for their ninth cup of happiness elsewhere. And then their tenth cup. So somebody needs to check an ego. Queen of Wands upright, Page of Swords upright. You need to know your worth. Accept nothing less. And be honest and communicate honestly. Queen of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is reversed. Don't get all hung up on the speed at which things are moving. Because... Things will move at the pace that they're supposed to when you stop overthinking it. Next. Seven of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Patience, patience, patience. The best things in life happen slowly. And that big brick house with the white picket fence and the 2.5 kids and the dog and the nice car out front... With the big back porch where you sit and sip lemonade and watch the sunset and watch the grandkids play. That big brick house was built with a single brick. And it was built slowly. And it was built together by two people who were on the same page. So, you have to get on the same page for what you want. What you both want. And if you don't both want want the same thing, you probably shouldn't be in the connection. I'm going to check out Leo. I love you. Let me know if it resonated because this is really heavy. This like took almost 40 minutes. This was draining. Oh my God. I need to go to bed. I love you. Thanks for stopping by and I will catch you guys next time.